Now that is a good idea. Lily, Lily, what is Lily making? Citizens of NLA, this is Secretary Nagel. Those of you that have served under me, here or on the White Whale, know I'm not one to mince words. So, I'll get right to the point. We are at war. Even now, the hostile alien force known as the Ganglion is marching on New Los Angeles. We know they possess Skell-class ground-based units, and we have reports of unidentified flying weaponry as well. Director General Shosan is attempting to open a dialogue. But our enemy has shown no signs of being open to negotiation. In light of all this, it is my duty to prepare us all for the worst. And this is why I've called an emergency assembly of all Blade Divisions. To be clear, none of this changes our mission with regards to recovering the life hold. But in the short term, it is absolutely crucial that we protect our city. Not just for our fellow humans, but for the Mana and our other Xenoform allies as well. New Los Angeles is home to us all, including our brothers and sisters yet to be awakened. In that spirit, the Manon have agreed to use their ship to ferry all non-combatants out of the combat zone. This is a temporary measure, but also a very good example of how we all, human and xenoform alike, must sacrifice and contribute to our common cause. For those of us who will fight, I promise you that once we prevail, any mimeosome damaged or destroyed will be fully restored. Troops, a trying battle awaits us, but we must repel the coming invasion, no matter what the cost. We're counting on you. You all heard what Nagi said. Ganglion forces are closing in on the city. I'd love it if Shosan could negotiate our way out of this, but we all know better. They've made their feelings about humans pretty clear. Our team has been assigned the most crucial defensive position, the Administrative District Gate. 
If we lose Blade HQ, that's it. We've lost the war. We have to expect the Ganglion know this, and we'll hit it hard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no pressure there. Do we know where everyone else is stationed? Irina's by the entrance to the Industrial District. Doug's on standby until we make visual contact with the enemy. And Lau's guarding the hangar. Tatsu will manage supply lines. Use Nopon connections to keep key materials stocked. Thanks, Tatsu. When this is all over, I'll bake you into a delicious meal. <laughs> Tatsu heard you say into, Lindley. And you, Rook. You ready? To be honest, me too. You'd be a fool not to be scared. So Elma is scared too? Of course. Bravery isn't about never being afraid. Bravery is being afraid and moving forward anyway. Let's move out. Bad time for rain. This is Brigadier General Jack Phantom. Supreme Commander of the Defense Force of the Colony of New Los Angeles. I'm sorry, Supreme what? Where are all these titles coming from? He's trying to lay on some crap talks. He wants to sound like the leader of a huge organized army. Yeah, but Brigadier General? Well, it's just a title. He can call himself Colonel Square Tash for all I care. If it gets the ganglion to listen, I'm all for it. Great. Now I'll never get Colonel Square Tash out of my head. Attention, ganglion. Your army has unlawfully crossed New LA's defense perimeter. You have ten seconds to hold your advance and agree to negotiate. If you do not comply, we will have no choice but to interpret your actions as a declaration of war and launch our counterattack. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All units open fire! Roger, too. Follow up! Let me see that! 
underground. We're the last line between them and human extinction. We can't let them pass. It didn't have to be like this. Engage it. Lay down some fire. So long. Warring seed. Trip with the target. Warring fields. We've got the edge. Rip you apart. Down, Lynn. We've cleared the area. No further hostile signatures detected. All enemy craft in the combat arena have been destroyed. Roger that. We did it? We did it! I think you're right. That was way too few troops. They must be testing our defenses. Ugly aliens got one look at Hiro Pantatsu and surrendered. Something tells me no.
I knew it. The ground attack was a feint. Everyone, we need to get back to the city. We're fighting inside the city? I know, Lynn, I know. We tried to avoid it, but now we have no choice. Better to risk damaging the city than losing it altogether. The hostile forces have crossed the perimeter! Move. of enemy scales have entered the city. Agreed. Let's give every ganglion we can find a nice, warm welcome. Roger that. Elma, we got a situation in the commercial district. Two really nasty SOBs. They're tearing through everything we throw at them. Secure your area and get over there ASAP. Copy that. We're on it.
be afraid, little girl. Let's kill her first. Lynn, stay calm. Don't let them into your head. We've faced worse than this before, and we've won every single time. Don't forget that. I know. left. And? You expect me to kiss your hand and beg for my life? I'd rather laugh my way to the grave! Please, no! Right, that's the idea. We don't have to continue like this. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Lost your nerve? <laughs> You're more useful alive. What? Go back to your people, your masters. Tell them we want no further conflict. Tell them the humans are willing to negotiate. That we can find common ground and coexist here, peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you honestly think you've won here, do you? <laughs> what was that explosion? Turtle, this is bad. They got the alien scout.
another city of innocence. All so they can lay claim to a single scalp? Was this truly necessary? I have become party to madness. Target was the mech all along. Oh, you're so quick. I can see why they made you the leader. <laughs> and now the Vita is ours. So you see, you didn't win anything. You lost. You sure about that? <clears throat> huh? Your people managed to swipe that alien mech out from under us. I'll give you that. But our mission was to repel the invasion and defend New L.A. at all costs. Nothing more, nothing less. In that, we succeeded. <sighs> For now, maybe. But you, you were sent here to take the city. And as far as I can tell, it's still standing. So I'd say you're the only loser here. <clears throat> now crawl home, tell your ganglion leaders you were beaten, and deliver my message. Hurry up and go, before I change my mind. Our people can't coexist peacefully. We can't coexist, period. It's us or you, you arrogant worm. No negotiation, no compromise, and no mercy! Yeah, we made it back, but Marcus wasn't so lucky. What happened? He took an enemy missile barrage. What? He's gone? Listen, Lieutenant. We're going to find that Lifehold core. And when we do, Marcus will be the first one back in a brand new state-of-the-art MIM. I promise. Gwyn, only a bit more handsome. And maybe a little taller and slimmer, but with bigger muscles. Thanks, guys. No, seriously. Thanks. I like this idea. We'll find Marcus the handsomest, strongest, most un -Gwyn like Mim around. Oh, you too now? So, Colonel, we lost the alien scouts. Well... Last I heard, we weren't even sure what it was. Doesn't seem like much of a loss to me. If only it were that simple. Ma'am. The important thing is, we managed to repel the invasion force. We're still alive, and NLA is still standing. I'll take that as a victory. Hell yeah. The Colonel's right. We did good here today. We won. Right. So hey, why don't we all go report back to HQ together? Sure. Sounds good. Actually, Irina, you guys should go on ahead. I have an errand to run with my team first. Roger that. Then we'll see you back at headquarters in a bit. Colonel. 
Let's go check out the hangar. There's no excuse. This wouldn't have happened if I didn't order my men to leave their posts. You were just trying to help. It's okay. We should count ourselves lucky we ended up with so few casualties. Sorry to break up the love in, but you know, there must be something to that skull if they were this worried about it. I wonder. The bigger question is how they even knew we had it. How did they know exactly where we were keeping it? <sighs> no way. Divine vessel is mine. I beg you, O oh Great One, descend to this humble planet and guide. I am yours to command! 